Tennessee's Dalton Connect might be the best scorer in all of college basketball. This is Florence Ceiling. Let's break him down. We have to start with Dalton Connect from three, where he has an excellent profile. This season, Connect is converting more than 40% of his threes on high volume. He's taking over 10 threes per 100 possessions, and his track record over his five years of college backs up his production. What I like the most are his makes while on the move. At 6'6", six six, with on-balance footwork and a quick release, Connect can rise into threes off movement and off of screens. Here, the Tennessee prospect reminds me of someone like Max Struess, who is guard-sized, but whose shooting versatility off the ball allows for usage at the 2 and the 3. Given that Connect is a super senior who will be 23 on draft day, the hope is that he can provide pretty immediate production for his NBA team. And I think he'll be able to do that on this end of the floor. I have no doubt that he can add value with his outside shooting, and he's a very solid fit next to just about every star in the NBA. It's also worth pointing out that despite Connect's age, he's had an atypical career path until now. He spent his first two years of college at Northeastern Junior College, then he transferred to Northern Colorado in the Big Sky Conference for two more years, and now, he's ending his college career at Tennessee in the SEC as one of the best players in the country. Connect scoring also applies off the dribble and into the mid-range. This season, he's averaging more than 20 points per game on 52, 40, 76% splits, which is quite impressive. The Tennessee prospect has a textbook shot with a high release point, which I love. Connect is comfortable handling the ball to an extent, and we will dive into that more later, but really, I prefer when he keeps his dribbles to a minimum. Time and time again this season, we've seen how effective Connect can be coming off curls, usually going right. This ties into his movement shooting that we saw earlier, and it emphasizes to me how his scoring is very translatable going into the NBA. Individually speaking, his high release point and touch comes into play here, but I'm also thinking about how his gravity as a shooter can simplify things as part of a greater team context. The ways through which Connect scores opens up the possibility to attack closeouts. But actually, I'm hoping to see some more growth from him in this department. Connect is a good vertical athlete, and he's willing to attack the rim, which is good, but I'm not overly convinced yet by his handle or his ability to create space. I don't think that any of this is super problematic, but there has to be some improvement to get the most out of his shooting. Generally speaking, this all ties into Connect's finishing. For me, this is a mixed bag. I think he's alright at the college level, Connect gets to the rim a decent amount, but then he's inconsistent actually making his shots there. In his fifth college season, he's converting at a 59% clip, which is not that good, and there might be some regression at first in the NBA. When it comes to attacking the basket, Connect is at his best when he has a lot of space to get downhill. Maybe this sounds like a given, but I think it also speaks to his limitations in tighter spaces. If Connect is operating out of a pretty high ball screen, or if he's getting downhill against a defense that's not set, then I appreciate how he attacks the basket. Some of this can also apply if he's up against a big after a switch, and Tennessee does a good job flattening or spacing out the floor. Connect has solid touch, he can use both hands, and he leverages his size and leaping ability fairly well. The shooting that we saw off the curl earlier comes into the picture here since the option exists for Connect to continue to the rim off that. This is nice usage too, since he can attack the basket, but against more of a shifting defense. Ultimately though, I'm finding it hard to fully trust Connect's finishing. 
The numbers, like I said, are not that encouraging. And part of his volume, I think, also comes down to his high usage overall. He's the surefire first option at Tennessee, and that will not happen in the NBA. I do think that Connect can be someone who grabs and pushes off of rebounds, or he'll handle on the second side here and there, but I don't see him as a prospect who will get the chance to create for himself at the basket out of screens. This is fine, it doesn't have to be an issue, but it also means that Connect profiles as much more of a role player. His game in the league will increasingly be centered around his shooting rather than his current do-it-all type of usage. Connect faces problems in the half court, particularly against defenders with NBA measurements. Again, this is why I prefer him as a driver in the open court. He's a good athlete going up, but his first step is not that dynamic and his handle is loose and it lacks shake. On top of that, I find Connect to be averse to contact, he's not very physical, especially against bigs, and if he has to bump and then go up, he loses the balance that defines him as a jump shooter. The hope maybe is that these issues pop up less in a more narrow role at the next level, but there's also the chance they pop up more against NBA length and size. We saw that earlier with how Connect attacks closeouts, and as I've been saying, he's a bit undersized to be a true wing, and he's not skilled enough off the bounce to be a guard. This same gist can apply to Connect in the post. The Tennessee prospect gets plenty of chances to play with his back to the basket in college. Generally, he fares off well. Connect is about to turn 23, he has a pretty decent frame that's already built, He's facing defenders with similar size, if not smaller, and his scoring instincts are evident. All of this means that he can post up, he can shoot a turnaround with his high release point, and he can also overpower guys to get to the basket or draw free throws. In college, this is a perfectly serviceable tool. But as Connect gets to the next level, I'm not sure this is going to be there for him. Very few 6'6 six six role players get to post up in the NBA. Jaime Jaquez is the exception probably, but I'm not sure many other teams outside the Miami Heat would be so comfortable letting him work in the post. I guess that to some extent, maybe this is contextual, but I really doubt that Connect will get these reps in the league. He's not big enough, he's not a particularly quick decision maker, and ultimately he's just more effective doing other things. In some ways, this reminds me of Grant Williams, who was used a lot in the post at Tennessee, but once he got into the NBA, he had to adjust to a more defined, off-ball role with plenty of outside shooting involved. Connect is a better and more versatile three-point threat than Grant Williams, which bodes well for him, and unlike Williams, he'll be used on the move, out of screens, etc. That much seems obvious to me, but I am curious about his pull-up shooting. I'm gonna keep this briefer since I don't think it's that important to his NBA success. Connect has shown some pull-up ability, but I also think it's limited by his handle again. Still though, it is worth noting that he was more of a self-creator before Tennessee. Last season, for Northern Colorado, Connect shot 40% on his two-point jumpers with just 6 of his 50 makes being assisted. At the end of the day, the reality is, Connect is a pure scorer. He's not going to contribute much in other areas, and this is reflected in his assists and turnovers. Connect can make some simple reads to generate threes or play out of ball screens, but nothing overly complex. Right now, he averages 2 assists per game, which is fine, and I think he'll move the ball well at the next level. I just don't expect him to be breaking down or manipulating defenses to create advantages for others. As a facilitator, Connect does not turn the ball over much. In fact, his assist to turnover ratio is positive. His biggest issue is reading the floor and understanding how defenses are spaced. Too often, I see Connect driving right into the help defender or the dig, and in turn, he gets stripped. 
It doesn't help that his handle is loose, like I've been saying, but more than anything, I think it's about his awareness, which is still lacking. Most of his turnovers are avoidable, and it's not like he's trying to do too much. It's just that he isn't getting a relatively easy process right. And this can become a problem in the NBA with the amount of help at the nail that exists. For everything I like about Dalton Connect on offense, his versatility, his balance, his size, his athleticism, I don't see these same things on defense. Connect being caught between the 2 and the 3 is not a huge issue on the other end. But on this side of the ball, I'm truly unsure about who he's going to guard at the NBA level. He's not small at 6'6 six six with a plus wingspan, but he's not blessed with size either. And like I said, he's a good, although not great athlete going up, but not really in terms of sliding. This causes clear problems on defense since he lacks the physical tools needed to guard threes and fours, and he does not have the foot speed and agility to defend smaller ball handlers. Here, Connect is outmatched by a 6'9 attacker. And in this clip, even though it doesn't end in a basket, it's clear that he cannot keep up with a guard. The Tennessee prospect cannot slide, and he cannot be effective off the ball either. Connect is averaging under one block and under one steal per game, even as a fifth year college player that should theoretically produce more than this. For all effects, Connect is a non factor as the low man or offering any type of help side rim protection. When he's not directly involved, he has a tendency to fall asleep. And also, he's not really disciplined on this side of the floor. Here and there, Connect will get something to happen. After all, he's a good athlete and a super senior who plays a lot of minutes. But ultimately, none of the scarce flashes that we see give me much confidence. The good news for him is that his outcome is ultimately more so predicated on his offense. On defense, he can probably learn how to be passable in a sturdy system but he's not self-reliant at all. Looking ahead to the NBA, guards and wings must increasingly be comfortable off the dribble, and it's not like Connect can be hidden on bigs, so I find his defensive outlook very murky. Dalton Connect is a bucket. He's averaging 20 points a night on really good splits, and sure, he won't contribute in too many other areas, but as long as we acknowledge that that caps his ceiling, I think that's fine. I'm not in on Connect as a lottery pick because I worry about his defense, and ultimately I think that his NBA role is going to be much more narrow than his college role, but his offensive tools give him a very solid outcome, and as I look at past drafts, I'm confident that he'll return top 20 value or thereabouts. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, Make sure to leave a comment telling me what you think of Dalton Connect. And if you enjoy the channel, if you want to watch more content like this, make sure to subscribe. Take care, and I'll catch you guys next time.